Oh, Katie, my parents wanted me to thank you again for inviting them to your garden party last weekend. It was lovely to have them. My dad's real sorry about what happened. <laughs> I understand. He feels terrible about breaking the head off that little lawn statue. Donna, I don't think we need to talk about that anymore. Yeah, I just want to make sure they understand that the only reason he knocked over the statue was because he was trying to get to the garden hose to put out the gazebo that he accidentally set on fire. Too bad he didn't make it. Yes. Yeah, well, he swears that's the last time he'll wear a cake to a barbecue. Well, I just think that's good news all around. <laughs> so, Mother, what else is new? Did I tell you uh, Stephanie Northrup called looking for you? Really? Mm -hmm. I thought of her in years. Who's Stephanie Northrup? Old girlfriend. Oh, she's the one your mother didn't like. The one your mother didn't like? She was very opinionated and she dressed like an anchor woman. Although looking back, I think I may have rushed to judgment. <laughs> you gonna call her? Oh, uh, I don't know. It's a little awkward. Did you tell her that I'm married? I don't recall. I've been distracted lately by the charred and smoldering gazebo in my backyard. You should call her. Well, maybe. Right. Just because you had sex with this woman doesn't mean that you can't be friends with her now. If I couldn't be friends with all the guys I had sex with... Boy, I can't believe Larry burned down that gazebo. How bad was that, huh? <laughs> so, when are you going to call Stephanie? Oh, well, I don't know. I'll get around to it. Hmm. Aren't you curious what she wants? Oh, not really. Oh, come on, Greg. You know what this is. She broke up with someone, was going through her book, saw your name. It's a booty call. It is. <laughs> Greg's got a booty call. Look, if you're so curious, why don't you just call her? Oh, God. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Stephanie. Greg Montgomery. Uh, uh, good, good. And, and you? Uh, what's up? I want some booty. A uh, favor? Sure. What, what, what kind of favor? A booty favor. Uh, um, uh, well, sure. I, I'd be happy to do that. When do you need it by? I need it now, and I need it back. Could you hold on a second? She wants to send her son to the same prep school I went to, and she needs a letter of recommendation. Where I come from, we call that booty. That's my wife. Uh, listen, why don't you send me the form and I'll fill it out. With my booty. Um, okay, well, if you're in a hurry, why don't you, uh, why don't you bring it by? And drop it in my booty. Tomorrow would be fine. Let, let me give you my address. Where it... Booty Lane meets Booty Boulevard. <laughs> huh. Great, we'll see you tomorrow. Hey, we are going to meet someone very special tomorrow. Who? His name is Greg, and he's an old friend of Mommy's, and I think you'll like him. He's handsome and smart, just like you. <laughs> Something bothering you? I don't know. I thought maybe I was going to get my first booty call. <laughs> You never had a booty call? I never had a booty call. Where's your cell phone? On the coffee table. Okay, wait here. <laughs> hey, baby. You want to come over for some of my hot booty? That's not me. <laughs> Hello, Mother. You did a great job. He seems like a really neat kid. Thank you. It's been hard raising him alone. I just can't do all that guy stuff with him. And this stamp commemorates the first lady of the American theater, Miss Helen Hayes. Oh. Hey, easy, cowboy. You'll want to use the tweezers. When was the last time you saw Greg? Oh, let's see. Seven? No, Jeremy, seven. It's got to be eight years ago. 
<laughs> Look at them. They are like two peas in a pod. Have peas collected stamps? <laughs> oh, what's that? That is the 100th anniversary of the cotton gin first day of issue. Sweet. <laughs> So you're ready to add a little boy to your family? Excuse me? Greg shouldn't have brought out those stamps. Jeremy's never going to want to go home now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he collects everything, and he is so organized. If I touch any of his things, I just never hear the end of it. Yeah, I know how that is. <laughs> and these are my NASA commemoratives, Mercury, Gemini, Apollo. What's Charles Wimberg doing there? Oh, jeez, Dharma, have you been playing with my stamps? Every chance I get. <laughs> Okay, who's ready for that ice cream? Vanilla. Vanilla. <laughs> right. Greg, will you help me? Sure. Be right back. Hey, Mom, Mr. Montgomery's allergic to macadamia nuts just like me. Wow. <laughs> that is a handsome kid, huh? Yeah, he's a doll. Did Stephanie say anything to you about his father? No, but I got the feeling that it uh, didn't work out well, so I didn't want to bring it up. Probably smart. Wouldn't it be great if we had a kid like that someday? Hmm. Odds are we will. <laughs> so how come you and Stephanie broke up? Oh, I don't know. She was a lot more serious than me. In what way? Well, for one thing, she really wanted to have kids, and I wasn't ready. And this was eight years ago? Sounds about right. Huh. <laughs> oh, jeez. Where's to Greg? Yes? Spoons. <laughs> Spoons. Harvard, Stanford. Spoons. <laughs> oh, what is that infernal racket? Finkelstein. What is he doing? He felt bad about the gazebo, so he's building us a new one. Oh, really? Oh, well, I suppose that's all right. How long is it going to take him? Could be a while. He asked me if I had a book on how to build a gazebo. Six. I will never understand why Abby puts up with that man. Maybe because he has a hell of a Johnson on him. A what? A... Oh, Edward. Edward, that is crude and vulgar. <laughs> Good morning. Listen, I just want you to know that I'm not going to say another word about the possibility of Jeremy being your son. Thank you. You're welcome. I would, however, like to show you a picture of yourself in second grade. Whoosh! <laughs> fine, fine. He does look a lot like me, and so does the guy at Home Depot. Is he my kid, too? Maybe. Were you having sex with his mother at the time that he was conceived? Because that's how it happens, Greg. Fine, fine. Let's just assume you're right. Whoosh! Now stop, stop whooshing. If you're right, explain why Stephanie never contacted me. Until yesterday. Then why didn't she say anything? Because it's hard, Greg. You don't just show up in someone's life after eight years and go, here's your kid. No, I guess not. Isn't it possible that maybe she's introducing him into your life and she'll tell you in her own time? I suppose that's possible. There's nothing to be scared of, honey. If Jeremy is your son, I'm totally okay with that. Really? Of course. Let me see the picture again. Goosh! <laughs> How about this? What if Stephanie was so hung up on me when we broke up that she immediately got involved with someone who looked just like me and they had a kid? Greg, listen to yourself. Yeah, you're right. Oh my God. I might have a son. Yeah. I'm not, I, I don't know if I'm ready for this. You're not alone, honey. We're a team. We'll do this together. Thank you. Yeah. Like, for instance, I could be the one to tell Kitty she's a grandma. That'd be a big help. <laughs> well, how's the gazebo coming? Oh, I, I, I have no idea. I wasn't looking. <laughs> Looks like he's doing a pretty good job. 
Uh, Edward, I was I was curious about your your earlier comment. What comment? About Larry and his um his uh his tallywhacker? <laughs> yes. Uh, how, how do you know? Well, he went golfing with us that one time, and we took a steam. Uh, his people call it a schwitz. Aha. Uh -huh. Isn't that colorful? And you saw his schwitz? <laughs> no. Uh, a schwitz is a steam. The word oh. you're looking for is... Hi, guys. What do you think? Starting to come along, huh? I wouldn't know. I wasn't looking. <laughs> Man. It's like a schwitz out there. <laughs> Mind if I take a dip in your pool? I don't see why not. I'll see if I've got some trunks that'll fit you. Thanks, Ed. That's mighty big of you. <laughs> okay, if I make myself a sandwich? Oh, certainly. Help yourself. Wow. I hope I have enough meat for this. <laughs> I'm joking. Look at the size of this salami. <laughs> Want some? There's more than enough here for you. Hey, how's that recommendation coming? Almost done. I want to get it right. I wasn't around for seven years. The least I can do is help you get into a good school. Is this the school you went to? Yep, Brookside Academy. Oh, God. What's wrong? This is so sad. What? Look, these little boys have to wear uniforms like they're in some kind of miniature army. What? <laughs> uniforms? Those are nice blue blazers. Oh, okay, miniature navy. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at this. They're eating lunch off of metal trays like they're some kind of miniature prison. That's the dining hall. It was designed by Frank Lloyd Wright. <gasps> oh, what kind of school makes little kids fight each other for sports? Board. That's Greco-Roman wrestling. It's Jim. This is Jim? Yeah. Where's the skipping and noodle tag? And hey, I bet I could fit in there. <laughs> okay, well maybe, you know, maybe it's not as loosey goosey as being homeschooled. And loosey goosey, did you play loosey goosey? No, but Dharma, trust me, this is the best college prep on the West Coast. Well, forget college prep for a minute. Did you have any fun while you were there? School. It's not supposed to be fun. <laughs> You really want to send your son to this joyless place? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, maybe it's a little regimented. Greg, you don't have to sit on a hard chair in a wool blazer to get an education. I mean, I learned about American history by living on an Indian reservation. I climbed trees to learn about bugs and birds and gravity and first aid. <laughs> Dharma, the school offers everything. Look, look, a first-class language lab. You'll learn it quicker when your parents just drop you off in Chinatown. Oh, come on. <laughs> Would you rather learn about thermodynamics from a book or by going on a hot air balloon trip with your folks to Mexico? That's how you learned about thermodynamics? And geography. And wind currents. We were shooting for Canada. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying that Jeremy should be homeschooled, but wouldn't you want him to be in a more nurturing environment that... What are they doing here, learning how to beat each other with sticks? That's lacrosse. It's a game. Listen to you. It's a game. <laughs> okay, we'll see you at three. Hey, good news. Your dad's going to fly down for your interview tomorrow. Dad? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Hey, what a surprise. I hope this isn't a bad time. No, no, come on in. I just got to make a quick call to my office, and I'll be right with you. Okay. Jeremy, look who's here. Hey, Mr. Montgomery. Hey, Jeremy. What you listening to? I'm learning French. Oh, great. I studied French. Très bien. Mamo, a ti con mamá, besoin pour l'école. Your mom said... What? <laughs> that I need this for school. Oh, you might. Is it fun? Uh, I don't think it's supposed to be fun. Yeah, I don't even think French people like it. You know, Jeremy, I went to the school that you might be going to, and I gotta tell you, it's not a lot of fun either. Really? No. So if you want, maybe I can talk to your mom about some other schools. Jeremy, why don't you go finish your homework? Mom, Mr. Montgomery said that... Yeah, I heard what he said. Go finish your homework. Okay. What are you doing? Well... 
I've been thinking about it, and I'm just not sure that Brookside is the best place for Jeremy. What? Well, I just think we should consider all the options before we make a decision that's going to affect him for the rest of his life. We should consider the options. Yes. <laughs> I haven't seen you in eight years. I call you for a letter of recommendation, and all of a sudden you want to participate in Jeremy's upbringing? I'm just trying to be a part of the boy's life. I don't recall asking you to be a part of his life. You will, in, in your own time. <laughs> you know what, Greg? I think that you should just leave now. Okay. Well, that's, that's your prerogative. Yes, it is. You know, uh, my mother made me study French when I was little, and now I can't even order soup. <laughs> Je voudrais du la soup. <laughs> Merci. Hi, Kenny. Oh, Abby. Ah, uh, hello. <laughs> it's not too big, is it? What? <laughs> the gazebo? Oh, the gazebo, yes. And uh, no. Okay. Uh, listen, I'm sorry to bother you, but Larry forgot to take his herbs this morning, so I brought him by. Hey, how's it hanging? Hey, baby. <laughs> Whoa, be careful. You could hurt somebody with that thing. Sorry. <laughs> How's the gazebo coming? Pretty good. I think I got too much wood, though. We can always use that at home. Unless Kitty wants it. No, no. <laughs> okay, well, uh, back to the grind. Okay. Mm. Don't forget your herbs. I won't. Okay. See you later. Abby? Yeah. Um, could I ask you a personal question? Sure. I, uh, was, uh, what, uh, oh, never mind. It's not important. <laughs> Is it about Larry's penis? What? No, I wasn't. Yeah, I saw you looking at it. I Kitty. was. Would you like to see it? Because he's not shy. Larry! Larry, would you come back here for a minute? Hey, what's up? Uh, nothing, just teaching Kitty some manners. Well, while you're at it? Maybe you could get her to stop staring at my penis? Bob, is my tie straight? Yes, honey, you look great. Huh? Is my, uh, is my tie straight? It's fine, honey. Hi. What are you doing here? Well, I feel badly about how we left things the other night, and I never got to give you the recommendation, so here. Thank you. Stephanie? Um, I just want you to know that if you change your mind and decide that you want Greg to be part of Jeremy's life, that I support that and I'm completely comfortable with it. Jeremy, I'll be right back. Listen, I don't know what you two are up to, and frankly, I don't care. I'm sorry I ever called you. You know, Stephanie, I do have some rights here. <laughs> and to tell you the truth, I think you're handling this rather poorly. Oh, really? what I think? I think you're both nuts. Hey, now, we have been very patient with you. Daddy! Hey, champ. Oh, sorry, I'm late. My tie straight? You look great, Dad. Who? My ex-husband, Jeremy's father. Oh. <laughs> Gotta go. Good luck with everything. You're gonna love it here. The dining hall was designed by Frank Lloyd Wright. It's beautiful. Bye. Sorry, 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 sorry. Where's your cell phone? In my briefcase. Okay. You wait here. This is Booty Central. Press one if your booty is hot. Press two if you want hot booty. Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> Dad, st stop pushing the button. Sorry, 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 sorry.
Bob. He seems like a really neat kid. Thank you. It's been hard raising him alone. I just can't do all that guy stuff with him. And this stamp commemorates the first lady of the American theater, Miss Helen Hayes. Whoa. Easy, cowboy. You'll want to use the tweezers. When was the last time you saw Greg? Oh, let's see. Seven? No, Jeremy, seven. It's got to be eight years ago. <laughs> Look at them. They're like two peas in a pod. If peas collected stamps. <laughs> Whoa, what's that? That is the 100th anniversary of the cotton gin first day of issue. Sweet. <laughs> so you ready to add a little boy to your family? Excuse me? Greg shouldn't have brought out those stamps. Jeremy's never going to want to go home now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he collects everything, and he is so organized. If I touch any of his things, I just never hear the end of it. Yeah, I know how that is. <laughs> and these are my NASA commemoratives, Mercury, Gemini, Apollo. What's Charles Wimberg doing there? Oh, geez, Dharma, have you been playing with my stamps? Every chance I get. <laughs> okay, who's ready for that ice cream? Vanilla. Vanilla. <laughs> oh, Katie, my parents wanted me to thank you again for inviting them to your garden party last weekend. It was lovely to have them. My dad's real sorry about what happened. <laughs> I understand. He feels terrible about breaking the head off that little lawn statue. Dama, I don't think we need to talk about that anymore. Yeah, I just want to make sure they understand that the only reason he knocked over the statue was because he was trying to get to the garden hose to put out the gazebo that he accidentally set on fire. Too bad he didn't make it. Yes! Yeah, well, he swears that's the last time he'll wear a cake to a barbecue. Well, I just think that's good news all around. <laughs> So, Mother, what else is new? Did I tell you, uh, Stephanie Northrup called looking for you. Really? Mm -hmm. I thought of her in years. Who's Stephanie Northrup? Old girlfriend. Oh, oh she's the one your mother didn't like. <laughs> the one your mother didn't like? She was very opinionated and she dressed like an anchor woman. <laughs> Although, looking back, I think I may have rushed to judgment. <laughs> You gonna call her? Oh, uh, I don't know. It's a little awkward. Did you tell her that I'm married? I don't recall. I've been distracted lately by the charred and smoldering gazebo in my backyard. <laughs> you should call her. Well, maybe. Right, just because you had sex with the... Why don't you bring it by? And drop it in my booty. <laughs> Tomorrow would be fine. Let, let me give you my address. Where it... Booty Lane meets Booty Boulevard. <laughs> Great. We'll see you tomorrow. Hey, we are going to meet someone very special tomorrow. Who? His name is Greg, and he's an old friend of Mommy's, and I think you'll like him. He's handsome and smart, just like you. <laughs> Something bothering you? I don't know. I thought maybe I was going to get my first booty call. You never had a booty call? I never had a booty call. Where's your cell phone? On the coffee table. Okay, wait here. <laughs> hey, baby. You want to come over for some of my hot boot day? That's not me. <laughs> Hello, Mother. Greg, will you help me? Sure. I'll be right back. Hey, Mom, Mr. Montgomery's allergic to macadamia nuts just like me. Wow. <laughs> that is a handsome kid, huh? Yeah, he's a doll. Did Stephanie say anything to you about his father? No, but I got the feeling that... Uh, didn't work out well, so I didn't want to bring it up. Probably smart. Wouldn't it be great if we had a kid like that someday? Hmm. Odds are we will. <laughs> so how come you and Stephanie broke up? Oh, I don't know. She was a lot more serious than me. In what way? Well, for one thing, she really wanted to have kids, and I wasn't ready. And this was eight years ago? Sounds about right. 
Huh. Oh, jeez. Arista Greg. Yes? Spoons. <laughs> Spoons. Harvard. Stanford. Spoons. <laughs> Infernal racket. Finkelstein. What is he doing? He felt bad about the gazebo, so he's building us a new one. Oh, really? Oh, well, I suppose that's all right. How long is it going to take him? This woman doesn't mean that you can't be friends with her now. Huh, if I couldn't be friends with all the guys I had sex with. Boy, I can't believe Larry burned down that gazebo. How bad was that, huh? <laughs> so, when are you going to call Stephanie? Oh, well, I don't know. I'll get around to it. Hmm. Aren't you curious what she wants? Oh, not really. Oh, come on, Greg. You know what this is. She broke up with someone, was going through her book, saw your name. It's a booty call. It is. <laughs> Greg's got a booty call. Look, if you're so curious, why don't you just call her? Oh, God. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Stephanie. Greg Montgomery. Uh, uh, good, good. And, and you? Uh, what's up? I want some booty. A uh, favor? Sure. What, what, what kind of favor? A booty favor. Uh, um, uh, well, sure. I, I'd be happy to do that. When do you need it by? I need it now, and I need it back. Could you hold on a second? She wants to send her son to the same prep school I went to, and she needs a letter of recommendation. Where I come from, we call that booty. That's my wife. Uh, listen, why don't you send me the form and I'll fill it out. With my booty. Um, okay, well, if you're in a hurry, why don't you, uh, 